This is a Sutotal production. Hello surveyors, this is Dr. Nettles coming at you with our third practice video for oxidation reduction, chapter 8. So here we have redox reactions where they actually wanted to split uh, the, the, the whole reaction into its two half reactions, right? So it really wants you to focus on what, what does the reduction portion of this reaction look like and what does the oxidation portion of this reaction look like? So we kind of have to assign oxidation numbers and see what happens. So firstly, when we look here, we have iron. So it starts with iron zero and then based off of it being paired with three chlorines, it becomes a three plus. So if we were to just write out the stuff that happens with iron, right we would get iron and then on the reactant side and then we get iron three plus on the product side now the way this works it looks like iron lost electrons so here's the deal you always want to balance the charge okay so i've got to add electrons here which side would i add electrons to and balance the charge in this case what you would see is this is zero and this is plus three so on the positive side i've got to add those electrons so I'd add the three electrons here. So this would be what the, one of the half reactions would look like. I haven't assigned it as oxidation or reduction yet, just wait. All right, next up we have Cl2 going to elemental zero, going to chloride ions, which are all negative one. So what do we have here? We have Cl2, I have to write it as this elemental form, okay? Since it's not ionic on, on the reactant side. And then I've got Cl minus over here and I should have two of those right now I've got to add electrons to either the reactant or the product side in which I balance the overall charge well I'm negative over here and zero over here so if I'm gonna add electrons I need to add the two electrons there okay so these are the two half reactions now which one is which okay well reduction isn't it gaining electrons which one do we see gaining electrons you go from zero to negative one, that's gaining electrons. So the reduction half reaction for this would be a Cl2 plus two electrons gives me two chloride ions. And that means this one has to be oxidation, right? So uh, Leo, lose electrons, iron, iron zero to iron three plus, it lost electrons, right? So here the oxidation will be Fe, gives me Fe three plus plus three electrons. Now I didn't balance it, this is just the simple half reactions. So a lot of times you do have to balance them based off of the number of electrons and everything, but we're not gonna worry about that. Right now I just want you to be able to break them apart into their simplest half reaction, okay? Um, so I didn't even worry about the, the, the coefficients of two and three and all that stuff, so don't freak out about that, all right? Um, <clears throat> Now one thing I also want you to notice here, as we move through the reductions, always have the electrons on the reactant side, right? Because that's gaining electrons, so it's a reactant. And oxidation, it's always losing electrons, so electrons are always as the product. That's a given, okay? So you'll notice that as we move along. All right, so here we have magnesium, which is zero, oxygen, which is, which is zero. Magnesium here in the ionic compound is plus two. Oxygen here in the ionic compound is minus two. So let's look at the magnesium first. So we go from magnesium to Mg2 plus. I have to add electrons. Which side is gonna, which side me adding electrons is gonna balance the charge? Zero plus two, and I have to add a negative charge. So I need to add two electrons here on the product side. Now you'll notice I'm at, I have electrons as a product. Didn't I say that's an oxidation? Well, lose electrons oxidize, right? Zero to plus two, that's definitely a Leo type scenario. So this would be the oxidation half reaction. All right, now what we'd expect is the, for the other one then, the reduction one, which should be oxygen, it should have electrons on the reactant side. So let's see, we have O2, and then we get two of these O2, uh, two of these ions that have a negative two charge, right? See, I'm balancing the number of oxygens though. Okay, so I did have to worry about the two there. That's what I did here, I forgot to mention that. All right, I am balancing the number of chlorines, I am balancing the number of oxygens, I am balancing the number of magnesiums, all that stuff. All right, now I have to add electrons to where I balance the charge. I'm negative over here and neutral over here, so I am gonna have to have two electrons, no, not two electrons, because that's two times negative two, so that's a total of negative four. So I need four electrons, there you go. Cool, I'm glad I made that mistake so that you could see that it happens. All right, so this 
this has to be gaining electrons, right? You go from zero to negative, of course that's gaining electrons. So we would say O2 plus four electrons would give me two O2 minus, all right? And that's my reduction half reaction. And yet again, reduction has electrons on the reactant side, electrons on the reactant side. Oxidation has electrons on the product side. Oxidation has electrons on the product side. All right, next up we have silver and copper. So we've got silver plus, that's a plus one. We have copper zero. Here we have copper two plus, that's a plus two. And then we have elemental silver, which is zero. So I'll take the silver first. I have silver ion with a plus charge giving me silver elemental, which is zero. All right, so where do I need to add that electron? I'm gonna have to add it over here, All right? So that means uh, here it gained electrons, right? So that's a reduction. All right, reduction. So I'm going to put Ag plus one electron. It's going to give me uh, elemental silver. Next, looking at the copper, we're going to have copper elemental going to copper two plus. I'm going to have to add electrons to where I I have uh, the same charge on both sides. Here I have zero. Here I have a plus charge. So if I'm adding negative charges, they got to go on the product side. So plus two electrons. So that would should be my oxidation, right? Is that a Leo type scenario? Uh, yep, it goes from zero to plus two. So copper did lose electrons. So copper to copper two plus plus two electrons. All right, next up, what do we got? Number four, we've got iron oxide, copper, iron. Okay, so the big thing here is the oxygens don't really play a part here because uh, they're both negative twos. So we ignore those in these half reactions. We're really looking at iron and carbon, all right? So here, iron, there's two of them. So you have a total of negative six. So this has to be positive six. So that means each of the irons here is plus three and here it's zero. So let's write that half reaction. We're looking at Fe3 plus giving me just Fe neutral. So I gotta add electrons, right, based off the charge. And so it's zero on this side, it's positive on that side. So I need to add the three electrons there. So what does this look like? It looks like it's gaining electrons, right? Positive to zero, it gained electrons. So that's a grr type moment for me. A grr, baby, grr. All right, oh, sorry, that was back in the day. All right, GER. So reduction half reaction, uh, Fe3 plus, plus three electrons gives me iron. All right, uh, next up we have carbon. Carbon goes from zero to plus four. Yeah, plus four. So in this case, uh, let's look what we got here. I would say carbon going to carbon four plus. I need to add electrons to balance the charge. I'm going to have to add them on the product side, right? Because this is neutral. So if I'm adding four electrons, that would give me neutral on both sides. And that looks like it's losing electrons. Leo, Leo, Leo the lion goes girl. So Leo, yeah, that's definitely an oxidation here. So I would write this as copper, and not carbon, sorry, carbon producing carbon four plus and four electrons. All right. And yet again, oxidation, has electrons on the product, electrons on the product. Reduction, electrons on the reactant, electrons on the reactant side. There you go. And now our last one here, but not least. All right, here we have uh, HCl plus zinc. Uh, so zinc here is elemental, and now it's a part of an ionic compound where chlorine has a negative one charge, so zinc is plus two. Um, the chlorine was negative one on both sides, so I'm gonna ignore it for now. Hydrogen here has to be plus one on with the HCl, because that it's not ionic, but we know it's an acid. But anyway, so it's not elemental, so it has to be plus one. But here, hydrogen is elemental, and it's zero. So let's look at the hydrogen first. We have two H pluses, right? I'm putting two because on the product side, I have to put H2, the elemental form of hydrogen. So I've got to add electrons somewhere to where I balance the charges. And so I have a, a total of a plus two on this side and zero on this side. So I'm gonna have to add the two electrons on the reactant side, because this is plus two minus two equals zero, and then that's, of course, zero. So what's it happening here? I'm uh, gaining electrons, so this is a, a GER type moment for Leo. So this is reduction. So two H plus plus two electrons produces H2. Um, so it means the next thing I look at with zinc has to be oxidation. So I have zinc zero and then going to zinc two plus. 
All right, so I have zero on this side. So with the plus charge on this side, that means I'm probably going to have to put the electrons over here. All right, so I get zero on, on the reactant side, zero on the product side. So, yep, that's my oxidation half reaction. All right, and remember, oxidation has electrons on the product, electrons on the product. Uh, reduction has electrons on the reactant side. Reduction, electrons on the reactant side. All right, so from there, uh, hopefully this kind of helps you out uh, with trying to isolate these half reactions. And you'll notice I didn't worry about balancing the stoichiometry. I balanced the charges only. That's all I cared about for these. All right, and that's what you need to focus on. What side do those electrons go on? Are you putting the charges on the right side? All that good stuff. All right, uh, well, that's audios for now. Stay weird.